a prayer to remember a painful moment in history. Things are just coming out that I never talked about. These tanks on display are versions of the legendary Sherman tank used by two World War II veterans more than seven decades ago. 99-year-old Sergeant Julius Fiorini and 96-year-old U.S. Army Private First Class Jim Andriotis recall spending days, weeks, and months in on and underneath Shermans as they fiercely fought for our freedom. This is indispensable having these guys here. Fiorini, a Purple Heart recipient and tank commander, came ashore in Normandy as part of the 747 tank battalion. It was something he just wanted to forget. When he finally did speak about it, it was all about the cold and horrible and, uh, you know, with the tank, he didn't know if he was running over animals or people. Andriotis was a cannoneer responsible for loading the tank's main gun. His unit was the first to relieve American troops at the Battle of the Bulge, and he helped liberate a subcamp of the Buchenwald concentration camp. Luckily, I made it home in one piece. On Thursday, the Museum of American Armor paid tribute to soldiers who fought against European fascism. They also honored our local heroes on the 80th anniversary of the Sherman tank and on the eve of Veterans Day. The behind, quite true. Blindly, they just were Americans and patriots, and they just went for it until it was over. They hope future generations hold on to history and never forget the sacrifice. People recognized, and they thanked me, which is heartwarming. Because they remember. Jody Goldberg, Fox 5 News.